Hey everyone, in this video today, I will show you how to install and set up Yoast SEO for WordPress. So to do this, firstly, log into your dashboard, then scroll down to where we have plugins. So click on new, click on add new. You can then search for the used SEO right here. Let's just type used, okay? Used. So right here, here is the used SEO plugin. So what you have to do is just to click on install now. As you can see right now, it's installing. So it has been installed. So you can just click on activate to continue. So right now, the used plugin has been activated. So the next thing for you to do after it has been activated is just to click on Start First Time Configuration. So as you can see right now, the next thing for you to do right here is just to scroll right here, as you can see, Used SEO. Then you click on Settings right here. So when not clicking on settings, you can then scroll down to where we have XML site map. So click on it to view your XML site map. As you can see right here, here is my XML site map. So the next thing for you to do is to open your Google Search Console. So when done with that, log into your Gmail account, as you can see. I'm logging to this Gmail account. So when done with that, open log into your Google Search Console account. To log into your Google Search Console, just visit, visit Google and enter Search Search Console Search Console. Then, as you can see, Google Search Console. Just click on it. Then you log in. So when you log in. It will redirect you to this page right here. So, excuse me. So, when it redirects you to this page, the next thing for you to do is just to add a site. As you can see, you don't have any site right here. So, to add a property, what you have to do is just to go to your blog. As you can see, copy your blog URL. Your blog URL. Then you come back right here. Then you paste the blog URL right here. As you can see, in the example, they said you should add HTTPS to it. So, just paste. Your URL as you can see. So when done, click on continue. So right now, as you can see, the next thing for you to do is just to verify that you have the owner of the blog. So let's just scroll down. Then click on HTML tag. So copy the HTML tag to continue. As you can see, it has been copied to clip dot. So when done with that, the next thing for you to do is just to go back to your WordPress dashboard. So let's just open the dashboard in new tab. Right click, open in new tab. So when done, you can then scroll down to where you have appearance. Then click on theme file editor. Just click on I understand right here. So you can then scroll down. Then you scroll down to where we have Elder. Sim Elder, as you can see right here. Click on it. So you can paste what you copied from here. Where they say you paste it to your Elder, as you can see, what you copied from here. You can then paste it right here. So to paste it, you just have to come down to where we have Elder, as you can see, Eld. Just click on the held, then click on enter, then you paste it right there. So when you click on update file, as you can see, file edited successfully. So when done, you can then go back to this place, the search console, then click on verify. As you can see right now, ownership verified also you can also use plugin to verify this i should have to okay 
can also use plugin to verify this. What you have to do is also go to your plugin, search for helder and footer, so you can select it. Then you paste it to your held, then you save it so you can verify any one of the two. So when done with this, the next thing for you to do is just to click on go to property. As you can see, welcome to search console. So you just click on start. Just click on got it. So when we when you are here, the next thing for you to click on site maps. Then enter the site map which you open a new tab right here. Just copy this site map dot this one right here. Site map underscore index dot HTML. Copy it. Then you come back right here so you can paste it. So click on submit to continue. As you can see, site map submitted successfully. So click on got it. So when you click on got it, the next thing for you to do is just to reload the page. As you can see, the site map has been added successfully. So right now, as you can see, the Yoast SEO has been set up. So that was all to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.